The phone hacking scandal had its origins more than six years ago. Now, it begins in 2005 when the News of the World royal editor Clive Goodman writes a story about Prince William hurting his knee and Buckingham Palace smells a rat. The following year, Goodman is arrested along with a private investigator, someone called Glenn Mulcair, for illegally hacking into royal phone messages. In 2007, the pair are jailed, and the news of the world editor Andy Coulson resigns. But the Murdoch company that owns the newspaper, News International, insists it's the work of a single rogue reporter. James Murdoch is drawn into the scandal 12 months later when he becomes the boss of News International, and in that role he authorises a $1.5 million settlement with the British Professional Football Association boss Gordon Taylor to settle another phone hacking claim. Now, questions will later be asked about whether or not James Murdoch is aware at this time that this is just the tip of the iceberg. It was in 2009 that the story breaks in Britain's Guardian newspaper that thousands of people have had their voicemail hacked. The following year, former News of the World journalists themselves come forward to say that phone hacking and other illegal techniques were endemic and widespread at the newspaper. A host of celebrity victims emerged too. OK, moving on to this year, and the fallout also sees the former News of the World editor Andy Coulson resign from his job as British Prime Minister David Cameron's media advisor. Then there's an eruption of public outrage. It's revealed the hacking has also targeted the families of young homicide victims. It's now that James Murdoch announces the closure of the 168-year-old News of the World, and the Murdoch Empire withdraws its bid for full ownership of the British satellite broadcaster B Sky B. Next, the scandal claims the scalps of top News International executives Rebecca Brooks and Les Hinton. And the drama spreads abroad as well, with the FBI asked to investigate whether Murdoch journalists broke US wiretap laws. There's concern too US anti-corruption laws may have been broken by the US-based News Corporation after it's reported that illegal payments were made to British police. The scandal sees two of Britain's top officers, Metropolitan Police Commissioner Sir Paul Stevenson and Assistant Commissioner John Yates, both resign and investigations are launched into their handling of the affair. Rupert Murdoch himself is now drawn into the unfolding drama when he's called to face questioning by British lawmakers and he cops that shaving cream pie. But to some observers, it's his son James Murdoch who's left with egg on his face. The News International boss is quizzed about that settlement payment he made to Gordon Taylor back in 2008. And he maintains that at that time he still believed the phone hacking wasn't widespread. But that evidence appears to be contradicted when former News of the World executives Colin Myler and Tom Crone reveal the media organisation had already received its own legal advice that there was a culture of illegal information access at the newspaper and overwhelming evidence that a number of senior journalists were involved. The pair also claim that James Murdoch was also made aware of an email that indicated the hacking went beyond one rogue reporter. And so the scandal continues. The latest estimates from British police suggest it may now involve up to 4,000 victims.